All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises and glories to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Um, the name of this video is going to be, It Is Happening Now. Okay, and, and what is happening now? What exactly is happening now? What do I, Yash, what do you mean by that? What is happening now? Is the world ending? Right, is the sky falling? Did you know, did minor gods, you know, pre-plague rapture come finally come true? No. What is happening now is, you know, as we've been, you know, warning, you know, for years now, man, that, you know, now, now in this year, man, now in the year 2020, now they're starting to push, push the microchip, man. And right now it's the vac the uh, vaccination for, you know, the, uh, you got a whole Corolla situation. Got to watch what you say. Um, but now it's, you know, that whole situation. Okay, the whole Corolla, you know, thing. Okay, but, um, you know, this man knows, right, uh, good old Uncle E, right, which stands for, you know, the, uh, you know, Esau. You got to watch what you say. But stands for, you know, E, right, good old Uncle E, as you know, coming down. You know, uh, as the scriptures say, with great wrath, man. Okay, matter of fact, uh, Revelation chapter 12 and verse um, uh, 12 says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knows he has but a short time. Yeah, now who's the devil? We know that to be, um, you know, these... uh. You know, the global elite, right? Some people call them the, you know, the Illuminati. We call them, you know, the elite of Esau, right? The elite of, uh, the elite of Edom. You know, they're, you know, they're coming down, man. Okay, now they're really putting, you know, the choke on the world, which they've already done it before, right? Everybody, right, as Larkin Rose says, strapped for cash, right? Everybody is strapped for, for, you know, cash, man. Okay, hey, he that controls the money controls the world, man. Why? Because you have the saying that goes, uh, you know, money makes the world go round, which, you know, obviously the world don't go round. You know, that's just a, you know, I believe it's made up, but, you know, the saying is true, though, man. Okay, the the uh, the money, as the scriptures say, the the, uh, the love of money is the root of all evil, man. Why? Because money is, uh, is power, man. Okay, you can, you know, do anything you want and make people do whatever you want. As long as you throw a big enough, you know, you know a big enough, uh, you know, stack the way, man. Okay, that's just the way it works. Okay, that's the way the world works. But, you know, the point of the matter is that, you know, now, now this man's coming down, man. Okay, now we're going into, you know, as I said before. I said it before, and I'll say it again, because I'm one of the only cats on here that is talking about this. Okay, the whole, you know, first part of this, you know, whole... You know, pandemic has been, um, you know, yeah, it's been rough and, you know, bad, right? Terrible for everybody. But, you know, that that is nothing compared to what we're going to see, man. Why? Because, for one, now we're in the holiday season. Okay, now we're in the holiday season. What's going to happen in a few weeks when Thanksgiving comes, man? What is it, like two weeks away now? I believe today, what is the 15th? Yeah, so, you know, it's not not far off at all, man. What's going to happen when people can't get their turkey this year? Because, you know, I don't know, the truck drivers, you know, that deliver the food to these, you know, uh, you know, stores went on strike. So they're not delivering anymore. Or what happens if people buy, you know, too much? Or what happens if, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe the, electric, uh, the electricity goes out. You know, I mean, there's too much that could possibly happen that could go wrong. That can start a situation. Okay, there's too much. There's just too much, you know, negativity that could, you know, kick off at any moment, man. Right? And we saw what happened in the election, which I, I was rather surprised, man. I'm going to be honest. I was rather surprised, you know, that, you know, yeah, there was violence. I, I'm sure somebody got killed. I know there was one guy who got, uh, you know, stabbed, um, you know, severely I believe there's a few people who actually were. And I'm sure, you know, statistically, somebody lost their life. Um, but it was worse, you know, the week before over in, um, 
was it? What was it? Philadelphia. Um, but you know, anyway, man, I was surprised, you know, it wasn't as chaotic, but you know what? It's going to get chaotic because even though Joe Biden, you know, uh, quote unquote, you know, won the election, or should, let me phrase myself, the selection, even though he won the selection, um, he's not, you know, in quote unquote power now, you know, and I say quote unquote power because there's actually no such thing as, um, you know, as government, that's just a religion, you know, that, that was made up, look up a, the book by the name of the most dangerous superstition by Larkin Rose, 10 out of 10, that's a must read book. Matter of fact, you can find that on YouTube for free. Just look up the most dangerous superstition by Larkin Rose. All right. You got to read that book or at least give it a listen. All right. But anyway, um, you know, this man, you know, they're, they're coming down, man. Okay, soon they're going to, you know, cause everybody to, you know, receive a, you know, a vaccination. You know, just as it says in the Holy Scriptures, man. Um... You know, they're going to, um, let me turn the page real quick. You know, they're going to come out, you know, and, and save the day, man. Because you see, now, right now, man, you know, what's going on is now, you know, I remember when, you know, say a few months ago, you might have had, you know, 3,000, you know, I don't know, 20,000, you know, quote unquote new cases in a day. But now you have like a hundred and what, 130,000 cases every single day, man. All over in America, that's not counting the whole world. Okay, that's just in America. Okay, so, um, you know, they're gonna, you know, continue to use fear. They're already starting to shut the states down again, man. It just all hell is going to break loose out here, man. There's absolutely no way it can be avoided. It just, it cannot be avoided, man. And let me say this, there is no way that this can't be the end, man. I mean, this, this has to be, you know, the time that the, uh, you know, that the prophets... You know, we're speaking about, man. This has to be the time because everything is matching up to the prophecies of this book, man. Everything is completely in order, man. Okay, everything is, is just coming in line now, man. All the puzzle pieces, you know, to be symbolic, all puzzle pieces are finally coming together, man. Okay, all the puzzle pieces are finally now all together, man, to create the bigger picture. Okay, um... You know, or what some people would call the, you know, the New World Order, which that's, you know, that's not necessarily true because, um, you know, when Christopher Columbus came over here, why did they call um, America the New World? There you go. So America was the New World. I mean, what, what New World Order are they really going to bring out of this besides putting microchips in people and taking away, you know, cash currency? Not much else. Right, I mean, and I'm yet to really find somebody you can, you know, really argue against that. I mean, it's like, what, what, what the hell are you guys talking about? You know, guys, you know, believe in just nothing but a bunch of wacky conspiracy theories, man. And let me say this, I'm, I'm all into conspiracies, man. Hell, I believe the earth is flat. Okay, but, um, you know, some, some, some things are just wacky, man. Like, say, for example, you know, mind of God's, uh, you know, whole uh, two witness, you know, doctrine. Or, um, you know, the, uh, what is that thing called? The, um, oh, oh the Mandela, the, the Mandela, Mandela effect, right? That's all conspiracy theory. That's not, you know, there's no evidence to really support, you know, too much of any of those things. Okay. Even though they might be able to put up a little bit of a, a fight. Fair enough. Anyway, um, you know, this is the, uh, the next step here, man. Okay, the next step, you know, they're ra we're rapidly, rapidly, you know, um, coming to, man. Okay, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16. And he calls all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man may be able to buy or sell save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that has understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of the man, and his number is six hundred free score and six. But the point of the matter is, let's go back up to verse 16, let's read that again. It says, and he calls all, both small and great, rich and poor, 
free and bond to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads, man. And it's all coming together. You know why? Because you have, uh, what is that? The Nero link, I believe it's called. Uh, or Nero link, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, you can look that up. But basically, you know, it's like a trip that goes in, a microchip that goes in a brain or something along those lines. A brain chip or something. Okay. Um, you can look into that. But, um, you know, also you have the Mark of the Beast, which just a few weeks ago, they were promoting that over in Sweden and also in Japan. Okay, and then, you know, the whole vaccine, you know, as far as the Mark of the Beast being the vaccine, that's not, you know, I haven't really seen evidence of that. However, we're not to take the vaccine either. You know why? Because for one, you know, it takes, you know, a number of years to get an effective vaccine. So, I mean, how the hell... Is it going to be, you know, safe if it hasn't even been, you know, eight months that they've been developing one? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on. So, you know, the scriptures also say thou shall not make any, you know, markings in your body. And what is taking a, you know, vaccine? Right. So you're not willingly supposed to, you know, take those. Okay. So that's going off taking a vaccine. Okay, but then, you know, it's all going to lead into a microchip, man. You know why? Because they can uh, say that, you know, we can't use, you know, paper currency anymore. Because, um, you know, the cash, you know, can carry the, um, you know, the Corolla on it. And you know why that's an ingenious idea? Because it actually is true. Okay, that actually is true. That, that the money can, you know, st uh, spread it. To, you know, to, to people, to people. It can, it, that is true. They're not lying on that, that is true. And you see, everything's lining up exactly how they want it to. Okay, so, you know, we're, we're really, you know, we're really coming into those times, man. Like, I mean, this, this isn't, this isn't no time to play around, man. Okay, this isn't no, you know, time to get weak, like, you know, that weakling. Um, or I should call him that simp, uh, you know, rock upon him, which I respect that brother, you know, I want to see him receive salvation, but you know, he fell out, man, that brother, you know, he went back to playing damn video games, all right, he, he fell out of this truth, man, he don't do no, you know, he don't teach these scriptures, well, so supposedly teach these scriptures anymore, you know, he, uh, you know, he, he pretty much fell away, man, so, you know, hey, we don't, we don't want to be in his shoes, man. Okay, so just count ourselves lucky. That's all we can say. All right, we got to count ourselves lucky that we're not in that, uh, you know, situation ourselves. Okay, but you know, hey man, look. You know, not to make this video too long or anything, but you know, the point of the matter, man, is, you know, we've been out here, we've been giving out the warning for years on end now. Years on end. I myself have been giving out this message for over five years, man. All right, five years. Here on this, uh, you know, platform that we call YouTube. I was speaking about it before I even, you know, started my page. Because I used to, you know, you know, talk in, you know, the, the chats about, you know, yeah, you guys know America's Babylon. And, you know, uh, you know, Mark would be, be microchip. You know, but I've been teaching for, you know, four and a half years. But, you know, I started, you know, uh, you know, to to telling people, say about that, you know, you know, year, uh, a year or so, you know, before that. You know, so the point of the matter, man, is, you know, we, we got it out. We got the message out. You know, hey, if you could receive it, you can receive it. Okay, hey, the scriptures tell you, let the holy be holy, but let the, uh, you know, the unrighteous be unrighteous. Okay, it's either you're going to hear it, accept it, and believe it, or you're not going to. Okay, it's just that simple, man. Okay, you got guys saying that the mark of the beast is not the microchip. But you're going off, man. You're going off. All right, we're gonna find out, man. All right, we're gonna we're gonna find out that that what that you know the apostles of Great Millstone, you know uh, Sakari, you know ETT end time teachers, you know um, a certain you know other Christian groups and you know Israelite groups. We were right, man. We were right. Okay, we were right that um you know the mark of the beast was the microchip. And we're all gonna find out, man. Okay, and and we know it. We're right. You know what we said it was gonna happen. Why? Because the Holy Book says it's going to happen. Then you also have, you know, whistleblowers, you know, who's, you know, for supposedly, you know, in the, you know, these occults and behind the scenes, 
So they know, man, and they've, you know, told people that, you know, that's their plan, man. And that clearly is in the scriptures. So, you know, man, this ain't no time to be, you know, to play around, man. Okay, we got to get serious about this thing, man. All right, serious about this truth. Okay, another thing as well, man, you know, getting into the famine of the word. You know, I just heard, you know, a few days back, you know, I personally didn't, you know, experience it because I wasn't on YouTube at the time. I was, you know, probably reading the book or, you know, uh, you know, out trying to, you know, uh, well, all, all the, I won't even mention that. It was probably, you know, out somewhere. We'll leave it at that. But, um, you know, apparently YouTube was shut down for like, you know, I believe it was, what, 30 minutes, maybe an hour. But, hey, man, that's how easy it really is for them to pull the plug on it, man. All they have to do is say, nope, no more YouTube. And it's all gone. Okay, it is all gone. All these videos, all these millions of videos, you know, of giving out true information that is vital. All survival videos, right? All economic videos, all entertainment, all, all you know, cat videos, all baby videos. You know, uh, all Illuminati exposed videos. You know, all news, you know, networks. All that's gone, man. By a, a switch. Literally a press of a button, man. And that's all gone. Okay, so, um. You know, we gotta, you know, be diligent, man. Okay. um, Let me just give it another little example, man. I was planning on watching, you know, one of Elroy Tahara's videos that he saw, that he uploaded. I was, you know, going to bed. You know, so I was like, yeah, okay, I'll watch it in the morning. I'll put it on my save, you know, videos. You know, I'll watch that in the morning. Um, and then I get up in the morning. I go to look for it, and it's not there. Because, if he, you know, YouTube, you know, took down his um his video, man. They took the video down. So that's an example of, you know, get this information while you can, man. Because if you don't, well, you might miss your opportunity. Another thing as well that must be mentioned. Um... I did a video a month ago about, you know, the whole, you know, food shortage is coming and, you know, the, uh, you know, national, you know, emergency of, you know, food shortages. It was up, you know, probably got around four or five hundred views on it. Um, but, you know, I woke up today and they said, you know, take the video down within seven days or we're going to give you a strike for copyright and, you know, violation of our, you know, community guidelines. It's like, hey, I'm not going to argue, I'll take it down. Because they said, if you know, if you take it down, we won't do nothing. But if you don't, then we'll take your, we'll give you a strike. Which, hey, that's not good, because then you can't really do streams anymore. So, um, you know, it just shows you, man, okay, that they don't want this information on here. So they're doing what they can, you know, to, you know, get all this taken down, man. Okay, so, you know, take advantage of this while you have it, man. Okay, take advantage. The scriptures say, what is that? Isaiah 55 and 6. Call upon the Lord while he is near. Call upon the Lord while he may be found. Because the Lord can be found today, man. Okay, today the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. He can be found right now, man. Okay, the, the truth is out here on these streets and on, you know, this platform that we call the internet. You know, also known as YouTube. It's out here, man. Get it while you can, because if you don't, well, you lost your chance. Okay, um, hey, just because of my OCD, I'm going to let this play to 20 minutes. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll let it, uh, you know, play out, uh, another minute. Let's see, what can I mention? Um... Yeah, uh, you know, oh, another thing that I can, uh, you know, mention real quick is, you know, just today, you know, I was, uh, was talking the other day about, um, you know, increasing your, you know, understanding and, you know, your reading comprehension skills. So just this morning I dropped, um, probably about 130 bucks on, um, you know, 10 new books, man. I got them, you know, cheap. They were all used. So I saved myself probably a hundred dollars, if not more, um, cause they're like, you know. I want to say probably 50 or 60% less than, you know, same book that was brand new. So, I mean, hell, you know, why pay more for the same thing if I can get it for cheaper? You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, yeah, you know, you want to, you know, be reading more books, man. Okay, up, upper, 
operate off that, okay? The scriptures speak about being, you know, or copied. Or in other words, being, you know, um, indulged or occupied, for lack of better words, in prophecy, man. Okay, and, and not only that, but we should be, you know, increasing our understanding by reading, you know, other books and whatnot. But anyway, you know, I, I'm going to say shalom. Anybody that's made it this far into this video, put hashtag uh, New World Order in the comment section down below. But anyway, I'm going to say shalom.